Monty Babes and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so first of all, let me just say I'm sorry y'all about this setup, this filming setup. I still don't have my filming setup set up and just, this setup is driving me insane. And I'm sorry the lighting is really low. Um, I have it low because my ring light when it's high is just catching all the light from the door and it's reflecting off and it looks stupid. So I'm sorry. This is just kind of what we're having to work with but you don't see my face for too long. Um, I'm actually really excited about today's video. I'm adding my nude collection. Oh no, 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 no. This isn't just a nude collection. This is my brownie batter collection. And y'all might be wondering, why is it called the Brownie Batter Collection? And I would tell y'all, it's called the Brownie Batter Collection because y'all are going to get three awesome, which I've used them almost to death now, new shades. And they're not just any shades. They're nudes. Y'all haven't been knowing, like for the longest time, I've always wanted to add nudes to my site. I've always wanted to add new gloss. I've been slowly starting to do that. But now I have a, a like I have two whole collections now that are solely nudes. And y'all y'all haven't even seen the pink collection yet. I'm gonna add six new, like these colors, oh no no, seven new colors. These colors are fucking bomb. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna cap, like they're bomb. I'm proud of myself. I'm staring at them right now because I actually just filmed for you guys. Because when I say I'm documenting everything, I'm documenting everything. I actually actually just filmed a video of me experimenting with all my new pigments and Mika's and all that stuff that I just received. Um, so I'm going to upload that as well. But when I'm saying documenting everything, y'all, I'm documenting everything. Like it's taking me a lot longer to do certain things because just for the sheer fact, I'm going on my way to film it, document it and all that good stuff. So when I say I have like 10 videos I need to edit. Okay, I'm exaggerating. I have like five or six videos right now on backlog that I need to edit and I just have it. I just keep filming and filming so hopefully one of these days I can just take two days to myself and just sit down and just fully kind of edit but anyway guys I'm adding my brownie batter collection to my site today I'm super excited to show you guys that um right now my lips I have on toffee which the camera is just not doing it just just let me insert a swatch of her here but yeah guys without further ado Shanti babies let's get right into the video Step one, guys. Literally what I'll do is I will take, well, you see here my boyfriend. He's always hella helpful. But he pretty much took a whole bunch of pictures of my brownie batter collection. So what I'll go through and do is I will favorite whatever pictures I deem that I like the most. So I'll go ahead and favorite it. And I'll bring it to the favorited photo. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to go through every single photo. Which, honestly, this isn't even that many. We usually take, like, <sighs> We just take a lot. So this isn't even that many. So I'm going to really quickly just favorite which ones I like the most. Um, whichever one I like the most will obviously be my like cover photo, my main photo. So let me just go through that and figure out which one I like the most. Um, obviously your key factor is being lighting. Um, so this one has pretty good lighting. You want lighting to be extenuated and as well as you want the colors to be shown the best they can be. It was obviously overcast that day, which kind of sucks, but... Then guys, I go to my favorites album, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna airdrop all these photos that I liked to my computer. Okay guys, so I use Wix as my site. Um, so then I'm gonna go to well, essentially this is the dashboard so i just hit store products new product and then we're not gonna upload we're not doing a digital file if you have a vendors list or if you sell anything obviously digitally you don't physically you're not physically sending a product to a customer then a digital file like it literally tells you that's what a digital file would be and then physical is obviously i'm physically sending you something so i'm gonna go ahead and hit physical and then i'm gonna do the brownie batter collection 
now it's collection with the K. I might need to check. Sorry, spell batter. Like spell check is crucial because y'all can't be out here. I probably have definitely. I don't want battery plus. I definitely probably have some spelling mistakes throughout my site and things like Grammarly. I have Grammarly, <laughs> which was a, which just was a, a paid promo, but I have Grammarly up here, um, right here. If you guys can see to help me with my spelling. Not to say that I'm a bad speller, but I would rather be safe than sorry. If it makes any sense, and Grammarly is literally free, so literally no free promo. And I actually really do like it a lot. Um, I don't have Grammarly on Google Chrome. I have it on Safari, but I'm actually on Google Chrome right now because when it comes to editing my website, for some reason Safari is just so clunky with editing my website. It's it's insane. So I just use Google Chrome. All right. So this is the name of the product that we're adding, and it's going to be obviously the collection. Um, and I'm just deciding if I want to do individuals. I probably will do individuals, but I think right now I'm just going to do the collection just to show you guys. And then as you see, you can choose what collection you want to put your under. Um, Jesus, I can't even speak English. You want to choose which collection you want to put whatever product you're adding under. Obviously, mine's wholesale. So I want to put it under wholesale. And when it comes to add images, all those photos that I just uploaded are now going to come in handy. So I'm going to hit upload media. I'm going to upload it from my computer because I literally just airdropped it. I do this all the time and it's such a nice, simple, easy process. It's awesome. So I'm between these photos as the head image. And when I keep saying head image, I mean the main image that my customer will see. We're gonna let this one load up. I think I like this one so I can like crop and edit it and see what it looks like. Oh, well, let's say it's really pretty. So you see, we're all about like aesthetics and looking good. Um, so I don't live at my house anymore. So I don't have like the photos in front of the flowers and anything, unfortunately. Hopefully in the summertime, like this blooms, but you see how just pretty it is, even though the cloud is over, even though like outside is overcast, the photo is just really pretty. And obviously we have a filter on here, but the filters that we use um, don't alter the color in any way. It just actually, if anything, it makes the color pop more it makes the lighting pop more so even on this day it was completely shitty outside you would not even be able to tell with this photo and i can do a whole separate video if you guys want to see how we took photos but i'm gonna go ahead and save because i think it's a really pretty front image so this is a brownie batter collection and then what i'll do is i'm gonna add swatches um i'm probably not gonna keep the ones that i have here because i don't like them Oh, see, this is, is this a video? Yeah, it's a video. So if it's a video, I'm gonna have to hit a video. And then, but I don't even think I like this video, but we'll see. I just did a video of me swatching all of them for Instagram. So honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if I use one of those videos as well. I swatched every single color. Swatches are very important to let your consumer know what the heck they're getting. How does your product look? Um, now, most people don't even do swatches, so you're ahead of the curve if you even do swatches. And I always try to do swatches of some sort, whether it's on my hand. Um, obviously, the most effective way would be physically on somebody's lips. So I'm going to start trying to do that as best. I'm going to implement that as best as I can. As you guys saw in my last, um, like, if, as you guys saw like two seconds ago, I have 74 products on my page. So I have a lot of stuff on my page. So for me to kind of sit there and go back over and do all that. But anytime I'm adding new things, I'm just going to simply try and start to do swatches. I always usually have it on my hand. So that I always will usually have. Um, not even always usually. I mostly always will have a hand swatch. just a matter of having it on my lips. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is as I bring new colors in, I will be getting rid of old colors. So I need to downsize my site because I personally think I have too many colors going on. So let's see what this video looks like. Cause I'm actually quite curious to see what this looks like. Okay, see this. That's not a hateful swatch. The customer can see what the colors are. Do I like how this toffee looks? No, I, I don't. So I don't think I'm gonna use that swatch. So I'm going to just keep this photo for now. But before I release it, I will go ahead and add a swatch of the color. Um. I honestly want to go and edit on Snapchat and edit the name of each gloss, but I think I'm just going to put that down here and go from top to bottom. So this is the nude collection. It pretty much is a nude collection. Um, how much do I make this? Okay, so what I'm going to do is it's going to start at $50 because we get three, four ounces. Um, the, um, normally $54. 
So I'm gonna make it $50 so you save some money there. And then what I'm gonna do is, what's important is I'm actually gonna add the eight ounces. Subscriptions, what? See, they changed this. So I'm gonna change it by the size. It'd be the four ounce, oops. It'd be four ounce and it would be eight ounce. So for the eight ounces, it would be one ten, usually one twenty. So you save, oops. So you save ten dollars, and then. What I'm going to start doing is, like I told you guys in my last video, I'm going to start pre-making them. And then I'm going to come back through and put how much of each I have in stock. Honestly, for right now, I only have one of each set in stock. Um, so I'm actually going to need to go back through and fix that. And then I'm going to need to fix the weight as well. I'm just going to kind of put that weight in for now. I have to actually go to all my weights and figure out what to put it at. Um, so right now I have the four ounces, it's gonna be $50, and the eight ounce is gonna be $110, and you're getting all three colors in a set. And then if I wanted to, if I knew how much inventory I had of each, I would track it and do that, but I don't know. Um, so I'm not gonna do that for now. But essentially guys, um, also make sure you have taxes on your products. Um, some people do them where it's taxes included in their product. I don't do that. I do that where you have to pay your own state tax. So um, I have it under cosmetics tax. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, that's pretty much it when it comes to adding a product and then I'll literally just hit save. Um, but for kicks and giggles, what I'm going to, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna fill in this. I'm gonna go back through. This is the, honestly the most important part when it comes to adding a product. Besides your picture, I would say your paragraph, which I know most people add. As I can tell most nowadays, most people don't read, but if you do read, it is really nice to read the description. I always try to really nicely and describe my product as objectively, like very, I just, I describe my product very nicely. That's where I want to, go home as to why my product is so great. And that is what that paragraph is used for. If that makes sense, like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm trying to explain that. I know that it sounds so complicated, but this, this paragraph right here is essentially how you drive your product home to your customer. So, but that's pretty much how you add the product. For kicks and giggles, let me just show you how I theoretically would add it to the site. I'm not gonna add it now because I don't officially have it on my site, but, um, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'll add it and then I'll delete it. <laughs> so this is the behind the scenes of the Ashanti collection. I almost wanna revamp my website, but I feel like it's so, I feel like it's nice. For the July collection, I don't know. I might keep that up for the end of the month. I might even take that down, we'll see. So I'm gonna go to start your own business because that is where all the magic is. Even my computer is being glitchy on Google Chrome, which it never usually is. So these are all of our wholesale items. I'm going to drag this down. So when I add, when I officially add it to the site, I'm probably going to put it somewhere up here. But since I'm just kind of showing you guys how to do it, I'm just going to add it down here just to show you. So what I always do is, I don't know how, what my boyfriend did, but he figured out the perfect like metrics so these photos don't look super crazy. So what I always do is like when I mean crazy, I mean like they don't look disproportionate. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not even going to try to create more work for myself. I literally just duplicate another product that I already have. And I make sure it's lined up nicely. And then I'm gonna go to settings. Now, when, if you guys use Wix, this video is gonna save you time if you're a new beginner to Wix because I had no idea for the life of me how I could put this here, like none. I'm like, I try every way possible to try to get this here, right? So you would think you would go to like settings or like manage the product and you hit go to products and it doesn't work and now you don't hit that. So you go, Oh no, you would think you hit manage product, which that's not even what you hit. So you go to like settings. I don't know, my boyfriend figured this out for me. I don't even know how he figured this out. So you hit this arrow and then you hit the brownie batter collection. And boom. There she is. 
Like, look at our pictures, bro. We've been taking some, look at these fire photos, fire photos. So this is just another one to add, the 4th of July one. Look at the sky in this one. This didn't even do that well on Instagram. I don't know why, but look how gorgeous this is. It's insane. Like, we should low-key become professional photographers. Nah, I'm playing, I'm just playing. But anyway, I'm just gonna delete this because unfortunately this is not added to the site. By the time this video is out, both collections will be out. My pink collection will be out as well. I'm not even gonna show you guys that. It's gonna be a surprise. I showed you guys the brand new added collection. That's all you're gonna see. And then I'm gonna have a whole entire nude pink collection out as well. So go ahead over to my site at www digashantycollection.com because y'all already know all we do is luxury over here. And I'm so proud of myself for creating nudes. Finally. And they're not just new nudes. They're pigmented nudes, for the most part. Um, I obviously will have swatches of everything so you guys can see, but for the most part, they're all, especially the pinks, are all pigmented nudes, so. Yeah, one last thing before I go. I'm gonna officially show you guys how to add a brand new product. Say you don't, you say you can't just duplicate a product. I'm gonna show you real quickly how to add a whole new product to your site physically. So, yeah. Say I don't have any product to duplicate. I'm gonna go over here. I can go through a whole Wix run through if you guys want me to, because it really took a while to kind of figure out. But once you figure it out, it's not bad at all. Um, I low-key haven't added a product in a while, so give me a second. So this is pretty much your main menu, but I'm gonna hit plus, which makes sense, because plus means you're obviously adding something. So I could add a menu if I wanted to, which I don't need to. Um, I'm actually gonna go down to store. And then this is gonna be all the ways that I can add my products. So I can add it as like a grid gallery. I can put two, four, six, eight products together. Um, I never really do that only on the main page. I usually do either a side-by-side -side one or I'll just do a single product, which is what all these are. It's a product widget and then it's just a single product, which it gives you all these options. You can do your shopping bag, add to cart button. I do not miss designing a site from scratch. Holy crap. <laughs> it was such a pain in the butt. But yeah, guys, this is my site. And the next time you guys will see this site, both collections will be added. So go ahead and check that out and as always use code YouTube money off of your order. Thank you Shanti baby so much for watching. I'll see you beautiful babies in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye guys.